Hello, hello to the amazing YouTube people, the Niemer here with another Star Sector video. So last time I went a little bit around the core world, so I decided to earn some money, maybe some rep. Right now we're trying to get some rep with the Ludic Church inside the Eos Exodus system, there is a bounty. I'm looking for pirates and trying to kill them off. Right now my fleet looks like this. We got five Tempests, uh, we got three nice ships for my off main officers, my viewer officers. And then we have some random officers as well in the Tempests. And uh, yeah, I've got four cargo ships, some fuel ships, some Valkyries for uh, to make my Marines stronger. Uh, I took a couple of points recently. I took Flux Regulation. This increases the maximum number of Flux capacitors and Flux Vents on ships. And well, this mostly helps Tempests actually, which I did not actually check and refit. Let me just see here. Um, hmm. Okay. I might actually do something different here. So my ships are pretty fast, right? Even without the injector. Hmm. And maybe harden at some ships, subsystems. Okay, let's uh, let's try like that. So we're gonna call this uh, battle frigate, right? Instead of the the speeder frigate. Still pretty fast, 189, and with uh, me inside it, it's gonna go to 1212. And well, I'm actually in space, and this thing lost readiness because of it, so let's dock here. So this will be a battle frigate, so I'm gonna put the capacitors and vents to max. Although, vents. Yeah, we need vents. Look at that. Weapon flux per second, 6, 600. I can only. So, my weapons really take the beating. Uh, some Sabbaths would be really nice as well, but I just don't think I can fit it. Although. How much does IR pulse lasers do? Damage per second, 150. And this one? 300. Mm. They are way efficient, more efficient though, and take a lot less. So for like extended fights, this might actually be a better idea. Plus the Sabbath or something. Mm. These are really efficient though. One. These are even more efficient. These are super not efficient. These, uh, no, no, no. Maybe once I dock, I can like check these things out. But for now, let's go full capacitors and vents instead of like this hardened subsystem. So hardened subsystems let us uh, reduces the rate at which combat readiness degrades by twenty five percent. Right now, the combats are pretty short ish though. So I think the times where I have to use these are behind me. So I'm gonna refit all the all the speeders to to battle frigates. Let's see how, how we do. Okay. So to up to 15. That's a lot more capacity, by the way. Like, a lot more. Yeah, so these will now pack way more punch. Be a bit slower, though. So <clears throat> we might have problems catching up to some ships. So I might, uh, I might uh, reconsider. We'll see. There we go. Also, let me take one of these for a spin. There we go. Let's go to simulation and let's go fight a Shrike ship. Uh, are there any Shreks here? By the way, this is the Hyperion. Advanced attack gun ship. This is the ship I want to find. Ugh, it's so good. Anyhow. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Shrike? No Shrike, really. Uh, we can go against the Enforcer, I guess. I'm gonna go against Assault Destroyer here. <clears throat> and let's see how well we can do. Okay, shields up. There we go. Okay, well, it does have the sabots, so... But now once we get away and turn shields off, we should also, like, vent faster. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're coming right into into my trap here. There we go. 
Okay, so we can easily like trade blows with one of these bad boys, so that's good. Ooh, nice. <laughs> this feels much, much better, by the way. Okay. Before, taking one of these on my own would take so long time, so... I'm really happy that I picked that uh, thing. Also, that uh, like helps everyone in the fleet as well. It's pretty unprecise, this thing. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, you can turn your flank towards me, but it's not like your flank is doing much better. Okay, really good. I love that. Uh, anything else we can try to go up against? Um, I could go up against one of these, I guess. This thing has an accelerator. Oh, I'm a feeder though. Uh, just okay, everything seems good. Okay, let's go. This thing has an accelerated ammo feeder though, so... When you, when you hear bzzzp, you better go out and wait for it to like disappear and then you can go back in. Otherwise, you will not be able to trade efficiently. A uh, crazy world where, where a frigate can take on the, one of these things, but uh, yeah, it's a really good frigate, so... Ooh, this thing went super fast, did you see that? Oh my. Do we have like any rockets or something? No, just a whole bunch of guns, that's fine. That's okay. Did you use the selected ammo feeder? You might have, right? Still... Doing some really, really great trades here. Well, that's not good, but my drones will take care of those rockets. There we go. Oh, I was not able to... Yeah, this, this thing events really fast. Did you see that? Woo! It has good capacitors, that means. Okay, let's wait for the ammo feeder to run out. And then we can do some more favorable trades. There we go. Nice. Well, you can try, but... <laughs> okay, now this thing is much stronger in this setup. I think I'll stay like this for now. Okay, good. With combat readiness, a little bit more... It would be even stronger, but I don't think I want to pick up combat endurance right now. My officers will do much better, though. Uh, we could do another fast simulation, I guess. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> well, this one might do really good. Uh, let's see. Let's go against Balance Destroyer. Was that the other one? Like, support? It might have been. Uh, there you go, autopilot engaged. Let's enjoy the show here, shall we? Let's see if the AI is good enough to use the frigate's maneuverability to take down a destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not gonna engage it. That's so funny, yo. Look at that respect. Yeah, it it doesn't trust itself enough, I guess. <sighs> oh well, what can you do? Really? Another spin? Well, this time we are kind of doing something. Like, are we so much worse on this officer? What's wrong this time? Uh. <clears throat> okay, let's wait. A couple more seconds, maybe. Okay. 
Maybe last time I just played everything perfectly, didn't miss any shots and so on. Well, there we go. Ah, I should have went in. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, well, we can do it. Anyhow, so I guess the AI will just not do it then. Okay, well, that's okay. I don't mind. Let's repair. Let's see. Cyber mod jacks. Right. Do we have like any missions? No. Right now we are doing the bounties. So let's do the bounties. Uh, my Tempest will be beasts now, by the way. Okay. Um, well, that's not good. No suspicious cargo found, really. You didn't find recreational drugs? Is that legal? Uh, let's see. Uh, Intel, factions, dependent. No, it's illegal. You did a lousy job there. We should have lost some uh, reputation, but okay. Not gonna complain too much about that. Let's go to, Tart to Tartessus. Maybe there's some pirates there. So they, they put up a bounty for uh, pirates, but well, I don't really see any here. Okay, seems like everything's in order here. Did you kill all the pirates? Could be. Could be. Okay, there are things around here. Well, that might be pirate. Well, that's a privateer. What's this? Ludic Path. Yeah, I was wondering why we were triggering that ability. So Ludic Pad doesn't like me. Ludic Church does though, that's the most important thing. It's Lucifer, look at that. <laughs> Volcanic world called Lucifer. Okay, Bounty Hunter. Yeah, I, I think we're a little bit late to the party here. It's okay though. Uh, mercenary Patrol. Yeah, it seems like everything is in order here. So uh, let's, uh, let's continue with, uh, with our mission. Ludic Path Watchers, right. Uh, let's see, do we have any contacts I could talk to? So we have a trade contact which is high in Arcadia, right? But I think I'm more interested about this tool contact here. Let's see how many Marines, 181, okay. Who wants to buy some? Oh, Don. Right, again. Sure, let's go back to Hebrasil then. Where is Hebrasil? It's there. I could drop by in Sindria to get some supplies on my way, I guess. That's always a good idea. Sindria has a lot of supplies. It's the best place to get them, I believe. Items delivered to the new Neopolis. So the... Uh, that's bad. So the... Um, the tech mining will produce items instead of cash. Weapon supplies and other cargo, metal supplies, fuel, heavy machinery. So sometimes you get nice blueprints, sometimes you just get a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, let me let me go to my command here and uh, let me see custom production. So I want all my production to go to the heaven. Heaven's my uh, my capital, but it uh, default go to Neopolis because it's the first one I built. That's fine though. That's fine. Here you can see all our blueprints that we know how to make. Uh, right now we cannot make anything because we don't have the, the shipyards and stuff, but we'll make it later. Here you can change how your uh, your fleets look. Uh, uh, right. Right now it's like very low tech, like piratey stuff. Anyhow, let me just take a quick look at my main colony. They're still building the orbital station. Okay. Um, mm, where was the, 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 the station which lets me give supplies for rep, by the way? And that's epiphany. What do they want? Oh, we probably... Oh, I know. We can uh, we can extract a uh, somebody for Sebastian here or something like that. So let's do it. Hello there, Epiphany. Avoiding contact. Oh, well, you're smart to avoid contact. Ooh, supplies are really expensive here. Like, what if I sell some of them? Ah, it's okay. Let's sell some. That's too many though. Also, these are pretty expensive here as well. Okay, let's go to down to like 200. I'm gonna buy some more, no problem. Drugs, ooh. Yeah, but I don't want to. 
Okay. Any nice ships or anything like that? Probably not. You are lousy at ship making. Let's talk. Ask about a certain piece of technology. That wasn't the deal. Okay, let's let's buy some technology for them. Oh, we can <laughs> we can decline, but trace the comps for a target for a marine raid. Designate uh, raid objectives. So I can use the, the my raiders to to get the the technology that I need. So in, instead of paying forty five thousand, we can use the marines here. Ah, that's pretty cool, actually. Let's do it. So this will make them a little bit pissed, I guess. But they don't like me either way, so no loss, no foul there. Okay, well, that's good. We can also consider our military options here. Oh, really? There is a, a fleet protecting the station, so we cannot raid it, really? Is that so? Oh, there's another fleet coming, so... I'm not gonna bother then, but... Uh, we'll definitely like to raid it once more, but I like supplies the most, and, well, they don't have many, so whatever. Okay. Next up, Asconia, the... Oh. The, the... How do you call it? The capital of the Sindrian Dictate. Okay, let's go to Kruor and Vultern to see if they have anything interesting to sell. Well, supplies are pretty pricey right now. Marines also kind of, sort of. That's fine. Do you have any missions here that would be worthwhile? Let's talk to the Underworld boss. Uh, you want me to do what? No massacres, no terror bombing, just business. You want me to spaceport offline? Uh, no, 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 no. Not really interested in that kind of thing right now. Let's see if you have any good ships for sale. Okay, this place is not really a big planet, I guess. Uh, what do you want? Okay. okay, so there's no military here. Okay, let me turn off the transponder and let's do some black market trading. Let's get some fuel. Let's get some lobsters. Oh, no, Maxius pays a lot for these. Uh, heavy armaments, super expensive drugs, expensive. Well, we're not gonna earn a lot of cash here, are we? Anything interesting on black market? Ah, uh, nah. Okay. Arms dealer. Nope. What kind of opportunity? Oh, I need a steady supply of six units of organics. Once established, I would arrange for monthly payments of 7.8k credits over 5 cycles. That's all nice and all, but if your colony gets disrupted and you lose, the, then the contract gets voided and that's a really bad thing. So, in general, I don't like to do that unless I'm very specifically in a very good position with my colonies. But uh, maybe we'll do it a little bit later. Okay, hello there. Uh, what's that? It's a patrol. Who's patrol? Oh, it's like a independent patrol, right? Okay. Let's see, do you have anything to sell? Recreational drugs, expensive. Is Don still paying a lot for them? It is. Supplies. Oh, I, can, I can give you some supplies. There you go. Pretty good price. You have cheap marines, right? So let's get some of those. Uh, also cheap people. I'm not gonna trade people. I mean, I'm not gonna uh, transfer the, the, the crew from one planet to another for a profit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so these are pretty. So we should go to Nachiketa. I have a lot of fuel, so I'm gonna sell like half of it for some profit here. Yeah, that's pretty good profit. That's really good price. Okay. Okay, any ships? Probably not. Okay. What do you want? Uh, no. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but... Uh, not interested right now. 
Okay, now let's go to Norcia. Hello. Okay, turn the transponder off. Up. There you go. Black market. Oh, by the way, so what do you sell, ships wise? Not too bad actually. Uh, too bad this tempest are a little bit bumped up. I guess I was lucky to get to find so many good tempests so fast. Yeah. Okay, let's trade. Get some supplies. Marines. Uh, it's okay price, I guess. Hmm. What if you raid this place? What if we raid this place? I mean, they will be a little bit pissy, but... Well, that's... Uh, that's decent, 30k. Well, mostly I train my marines, that's the main reason why I do these, but... Ugh. Okay, let's, let's work on rep, let's work on rep. Let's uh, slow down a little bit with those. Oh, you're disappointed. Uh, um, deliver of 200 domestic goods as soon as possible. Well, that's the price is good, but the volume is like not interesting enough for me. <laughs> Oops. Okay, now let's go for supplies and then we're gonna move on our way. Where are we even going to Hibrasil, right? Yeah. Okay. Do we have any contraband? We do. Oh, this is a bit tricky. How can I pull this off? I can go like down. I can go like this. Whoop. Pick stuff up. And then get the heck out of there. So let's get the drugs. Let's get the supplies. Let's get the fuel. Are you pissed? You're pissed. What if I take these supplies also? Like half of that. What do you say? Less pissed? That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm happy we came to understanding here. How much for these? 27? I'll buy it for 27. There we go. Anything else? Do you want some lobster? No. Okay. Talk to the man from the military offering bounties. Oh, that's far away. That's far away. That's far away. Sometimes they can be close. It's not very common though. Okay, maybe some other time. Now I have to like bail though. Ooh. Why was I so slow? I should have got caught there. But I was pretty sure I was having... Oh yeah, it was just spinning up, but that was the advantage. That was just about enough advantage for me to be able to run away. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, this is a one fast little ship, though. Oh, the, the emergency burn was on, right? So what's your speed? 12? Whew, Lion's Guard fleet. Well, we managed to pull this off. Now we're going to go to Dawn and sell all those all those uh, recreational drugs, if they'll still have them. I, I think they will. I think they will. So, Hibrasil, here we come. Oh, there's uh, some subspace things which I don't really like. What is that? Ragnar, the rare dwarf. Wait, what? Oh, interesting. It's in the middle of the soft space. I don't think I saw that before. Okay. Well, I'm not sure where Dawn is, but I think if we park it right here, it's gonna be okay. Ugh. Uh. Oh, well, it's actually the thing furthest out, so we should be able to land on top of it if I use my brains next time. Okay. Monthly income positive again. Uh, nice to see. Nice to see. Uh, crew. So they want 1.6k. Well, 
I could... I could go here. Grab some more. There we go. Well, a little bit less, I guess. Um, there. There. Exactly. Good. Um, I've got ship supplies. Um, yeah, let's not piss them off. What's illegal, illegal here, by the way? Uh, so, Intel... Uh, try taking... Oh, just AI cores. Then we're gonna be fine. I have any of those. Oh, really? Increase pirate rates. Oh, you want me to go there? I mean, I can accept it. It's not like I'm gonna go there, but you never know. You never know. Okay, let's move. Let's get some profits done. That's the time. Okay. It's good. Time is good. So Dawn has some party problems, I guess. Hello there, Dawn. First it was Umbra, now it's Dawn. Oh, damn it. I was too late. Ugh. Well, next time then. Uh, so last time I got lucky. Last time I got lucky and well, when I was leaving the planet they increased the price and I was able to come back and earn a whole lot. So right now, I'm sitting here with like, I don't even know if I can sell this at 600, this is like almost 1 million worth of drugs. But uh, yeah, the fate didn't want it to go that way this time. I'm gonna grab those supplies though and the fuel and I mean, I can I can take revenge on them for messing me up. So how many would we be able to take here? One hundred and sixty. Yeah. That that's what you get. I came all this way, and yeah. There. Are you now paying more for them? Did you learn your lesson? Uh, you actually are. You're not gonna let me dock though. <laughs> Interesting situation, I'd say. Okay. Um, right. I don't know what was the point of that, but hey. <laughs> I did it. It would be nice if you could like raid a planet and then sell the goods back to them, but the uh, game is not as abusable. Some things are. Some things used to be very abusable, but uh, this was never one of them. The, they were always mad at you. But why are you pursuing me? Like, what did I do? Oh, I'm running without the transponder. Oops. How mad are you right now? I should really learn. Not to do that anymore. I'm trying to get some rep here and all I'm doing is losing it. Oh well. Hello there. Do you have any nice ships for sale? I would like a Hyperion. Okay, so there's a Brawler. Uh, okay, there's a Tempest, which uh, faulty automated system needs more crew. <laughs> That's not a big deal. Oh, is that an open market? It is. Yeah, I'll get one. Because the way things are going, I feel like I'm going to need more Tempests. <coughs> it's a miracle that the one I have did not break apart yet. Look at this. Ooh. Harbridges. Ooh. Astral, the carrier. Oh, my God. Six fighter base. Atlas. Well. well Scarab is an interesting little ship. Heavy frigate. With a temporal shell, speeds up the flow of time on board the ship, generates a significant amount of flux when used. Sure, let's... Oh, there's a Medusa. I'm gonna pick up Medusa here and a Scarab. So how mad are you now? 
Well, very mad, but not super mad. Um, what if I boss some like? Ah, not. Let's not push the buttons here. Okay, you can scan me. No, well, you're very understanding. Thank you, kind sir. Let's go to the Oku Brass. Uh, there's no fleet here, for some reason. Okay. Let's uh, rob their black market then. Any ships? Oh, really? I can trade here with a transponder off? Really? Some shrikes, but I don't want them. Okay, okay, okay. Anyone wants some help from me? Guess not. Um, How hard is it to raid this thing? Oh, very hard. Oh, we could destroy the orbital solar array <laughs> for reals now? Destroy it? Well, that sounds interesting to me. So I guess, yeah, this thing has very good farming. So here's the deal, right? Increases food production by two. So if you go to food here, Eocubres has... 14% market share. So if you destroy its orbital solar array, it's gonna fall down to like, I don't know, maybe 9% if it goes from eight to six. So that means 5% of the of the market will be released all of a sudden. And well, I would probably make more profit if I destroy it. Um, yeah. I have four, four pips here and I need four, seven. So I need twice as many Marines to do it. That's a really bad thing to do though. So I'm not sure. I could though. So why are you so good at defending? So base value for a size six colony, 300 times, times stability, times ground defenses. Okay, Star Fortress triples it so if you destroy the star fortress so if you would destroy the star fortress first right uh i would be able to do it however uh, i cannot destroy the star fortress this thing would chew me up this thing is insanely strong okay uh yeah let's uh, leave before uh, police comes there we go and let's, uh, I could go to sit lead, but let's just go to YMA and maybe, well, I can't equip my ships right now because, well, I don't have my guns at YMA, right? Totally forgot about that. So let's continue searching for stuff. Um, so I would like to search what next? Oh, there's Karas. Okay. Scotty. Let's go to Portse. So this is a uh, Tritachian military orbital station, right? Frozen World, Eocubras, Tundra World, right? They don't have many systems actually. So there's Scotty and that's about it. So Scotty, so it's in the Valhalla Ragnar, I guess it's a bi star. Okay, that explains why one of them ended up in hyperspace. Well, in the deep space. And then they got Hibrasil and Port Se. So they have only four planets, really? Where can I see that? Is there any way to sort by faction? Well, I can go by location, I guess. No, by distance. There we go. Try taking, try taking. So that's one, two, three, four. And I guess that's it. Oh, no. They have another one. TB Senna. Oh, that's the one I want. TB Senna. Where's the TB Senna? In Majek. Majek, where's Majek? All the way down there. Okay, that's interesting. Rocky Metallic World. Okay, let's go to Port Se. 
Let's see if there's like any good ships there to be bought. Mm. So much about getting some nice reputation. Totally messed up this one. Uh, this is my Asura. Yeah, Port says here. Can we see the layout? Oh, I actually can. So it's like outside. Should be the furthest planet out. What's that? DT. Oh, is that DT? Okay, so Tibisena is always reachable going like that. Cool. No, that's Port C. Okay, Port C. So this is like a, a center of mercenary recruitment and a commercial interface with unsovered element. <laughs> the cocktail bar level 25 enjoys the reputation for having the best drinks in the local volume. Okay, well, let's uh, see. Everyone wants me to go there and take care of the pirates. Uh, right, what I'm even doing here? I'm looking for some ships. Well, they have a military installation, however. No commission, no trade. Sometimes on black market there will be interesting ship from the factions, but not here. Okay. Let me try something interesting here. Uh, so, Medusa. Let's see what kind of weapons we can put on. Uh, not much available here. Oh, we're gonna f we're gonna figure these out when we get back to our planet, I guess. Hmm. Increases minimum crew ground by one hundred percent. Decreases maximum combat readiness by five. Well, the uh, the, the other half is pretty bad. Uh, but I guess it still can have its uses. Okay. Anyone? All right, that's the thing. That's the thing. Let me get some. Well, it's pretty expensive actually. This planet sucks. I don't like your 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 drinks. I don't like your anything. Let's go to uh, Marat. Maybe they'll have the ship. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong faction. Maybe I should be looking for a Hyperion at the Persian League. I was pretty sure. Oh. Hello there. So at around Marat is another one of these. Okay. Hello there. Damaged weapon mounts. What does that even mean? Too bad I cannot see it, right? Oh, there's a clean one here. Let me pick it up. Okay, you're probably a little bit pissy now, right? Extreme? Why extreme? I bought like one ship. Dudes. Yeah, I don't know what's going wrong. Okay, now it's very high. Whew. Okay. Okay, let's go to Lost Acropolis. I guess they are a small planet, so if you like do a little bit of bad trade there, like all of a sudden. Oh. Okay. They're all of a sudden like really, really mad. <laughs> Lost Acropolis. So let's see this one. Oh, this is a good place to sell stuff. So what if I sell all of these? Oh no, you're just needing 800. Oh, that's that's okay. I don't mind that. I did some wrong calculation there though. I was saying like 1 million. It was not 1 million. Well, actually. But that's if I sell for 600. I'm selling for 400 here, right? Yeah, that's quite a bit of a difference. So should I stick with it? Well, the other planet needs only 1.6. Oh, it actually needs a lot. How can they, they be in such a big deficit? I only took like a little bit from them. I guess you raid them a little bit and everyone's scared. And then everyone just goes and crazily buys out all the drugs on the planet. And then the poor miners don't have anything left. Let's say it's like that.
Okay, I want to get rid of the ore. Oh, I'm not doing any ore business right now. Okay, well, I think it's time to go back to my colonies. Check out my fleet. Um, I'm gonna go into Dawn just for more time, just in case they might be willing to play ball, but I don't think enough time passed. And where? I don't see Dawn actually. So where is Dawn? It's like there, right? Oh, there we go. Haha, <laughs> transverse jump. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Uh At least a month, they're still pissy. Okay, fine, be that way. I know I took your drugs, but I wanted to give it back for a price and well, if you don't like drugs, well, you don't have to pay me. I want to come back later. Okay, let's go back to the colony. Monthly income. Let's see what did we produce. Tactical laser. So mostly weapons. Eh, can't say I'm like super excited about that, but... Let it mine. Let it mine. Maybe they'll find something good. If they find a blueprint, that's like great. But those are pretty rare, so... Also... Oh, we have a supply shortage. So the something got raided on the way to my planet. So now they have shortage of everything and anything. So that's why we're not making as much profit. Or, well, are we even feeling these? <laughs> yeah. We are just not from the point where I was thinking. Okay. So that's why it's important to supply yourselves locally. I'm gonna get there, but uh, the planet needs to grow a little bit more before that. I'll also colonize this one at some point. The barren world. This one will probably not like be mining or anything like that. It will be more like. Um, uh, let's see, I have that, I have that, I have that. It'll be more like a place where I'm gonna build infrastructure. Maybe supply production buildings, I don't know, we'll see. Or maybe like heavy industry, light industry, and then this planet will supply the resources and this planet will process them. It will be better if it's the other way around, but uh, well, you can't choose where you get the resources. Usually this planet should be rich in ore and this one should be rich in like farmland, but... Yeah, it's all RNG, so. Anyhow, let's check out our ships here. So we can outfit this one to be a battle frigate. So we're gonna do that. And uh, let's check out this one here. So this thing is pretty nasty, pretty nasty. I would like to safety override it. Well, first let's do it without it, right? How much for safety overrides anyway? 30. <laughs> Increases top speed to by 30, right? And all kinds of nice stuff. Uh, flux dissipation is increased by a factor of 3, of 2. Reduces peak performance by a factor of 3. So the ship really starts breaking apart really fast. And it reduces weapon ranges past 450 units. So these things, really, really specific. Anyhow. So we got some universal hard points and that's a nice place to put uh, some uh, ballistics. So let's see, something good against shields. I can do go light dual auto cannon, one for free damage per second. Let me check the machine gun to compare, 208. Oh, definitely auto cannon, okay. And then, mm, let's see, you have the Omni Shield, right? Well, I could go with uh, Shield Conversion Front and then maybe extend it. So that's gonna put it to 300. That's not too bad. 
by the way, this is like a big wolf. <laughs> it it can teleport around, I believe, if they didn't change anything. Okay, so then we can put a couple of pulse lasers. There we go, and some are uh, infrared pulse lasers. There we go. Well, I I definitely want to get all these. Oh. How do I want to do this? Like more vents or more capacity? Uh, psh, I don't know. Just cannot fit everything that I want. Maybe I go without extended shields. This is still pretty good. Maybe I put like a point defense laser behind it just to be able to take down rockets which try to go for my engines. Okay, uh, I think this is good enough for weapons. So let's do that. Maybe more flux dissipation, I don't know. Now let's try it out. Huh. Very little ordinance on this one. So how much is that? 12. Well, I should be able to take this thing down easily then. Pam 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 pam. Look at that, so beautiful. I, I miss my wolves. Yeah. Okay. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. How's the day today, sir? Okay, well, that was easy. We just get behind it and, well. Basically, the battle is won! Forgot about the missiles. That's fine, though. Uh, let's find something better. Um, let's see how good you trade blows with this destroyer, though. I uh, shouldn't be too hard. Okay, he turned on the thing, but let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shh. He's a bit confused what he wants to do. So uh, <laughs> this is a really interesting when you combine the uh, when you combine the ballistic weapons with energy weapons. So because of ballistic weapons, the, it doesn't want to put the shields up. But then because of the energy weapons, it kind of does. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is why high tech is better than midline, I guess. Okay. What else? Oh, let's go against one of those big ones. Oh, I cannot actually choose it here. Oh, that sucks. How about eagle? Oh, I didn't find any, fight any eagles, so that's not interesting. What did we fight? <laughs> that's one of my ships, though. I wonder how is it equipped. Let's see. Um, I mean, of course, it has quals in the front. However, issue is okay, okay, it turns pretty fast, but I can like side jump it, maybe. Okay. There we go. No, it turns way too fast. Turns way too fast. Oh no, oh no. What is it using? Like, what's that blue thing? That's Mjolnir? Could be Mjolnir's, right? What's the other side though, like? Okay. Uh, well, obviously we're not gonna take a battle cruiser with a destroyer. I just wanted to see something. Um, mine is 12, so I should be fighting something in the same white. Let's see how we do against two of these. I think we're gonna have Medusa in my fleet. It's a very capable ship. And uh, like the AI should be pretty safe with it as well. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I have very, very good. No, okay, I was like a little bit uh, insane there, but okay, let's do that again. Now, this time a little bit more carefully. Now let's use our ability, shall we? <laughs> But 
but yeah, I wanted to comment how I have very deep uh, flux pools, so it took quite a while for for this ship to go through that. Okay. Problem is, it does have a lot of rockets and stuff, so... Are we fighting the different one this time? We might be. Okay, now let's... Uh, let's uh, skimmer away. Vent, go back in. Ah, teleportation, such a wonderful technology. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe this time, yeah. That's probably gonna launch some rockets towards me. Ah, okay. The fights are about to become way more easy with this ship. This one will stay safe. This one will stay safe. I need more Medusas. What I really want, though, is a Hyperion. But I guess Medusa will do for now. I wonder why is it called Medusa? Maybe because of the positioning of its weapon mounts. Okay, well, anyway, once one of these is down, then... The other one shouldn't be too hard, right? So I'm not even gonna play it out. Okay! Like this. Well, 240 shield arc, so shield conversion front. Without that, it's only 120. It is an Omni shield, though. So there is something to be said about that, but... Uh, I have problems running it. It's much easier for me if I have the, the forward facing shield and my position becomes easier. Otherwise, like if I move cursor around, my shield moves around, which is really, really bad. So, okay. Also, it gives me 60, uh, 60 of these. Really good shield flux per damage. Um, and if I put Levi in it, it's even stronger. So, okay, cool. Right, so we got ourselves a Medusa. Uh, okay, so next time I'll also like equip this one, but uh, I have a thing I have to do sadly, so I can't play any longer. Uh, sad time, but anyhow, this can be the thumbnail, I guess. So, yeah, this is a high-tech ship, which is not so easy to find. We found one without any bad mods we can also add some pretty expensive stuff on it and build it in as well if i decide to do so you used to be able to build in safety overrides that was like totally and utterly broken <laughs> ah the good old times but you cannot do it anymore so like i can build in the the shield conversion but i cannot build in make the, this one free it's just too big of a thing 30 it costs so but anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So if you're enjoying my videos, likes would be pretty cool. If you're enjoying the channel, subscribe. That will make me really happy. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next episode. Neymar signing out. Bye-bye.